Hey everyone, back again with another video. I got given um, quite a few of these um, 8mm style AIT tapes and I haven't actually really seen this before but it's uh, Sony uh, Advanced Intelligent uh, Tape format uh, sort of reserved for the um, enterprise sort of area or uh, medium business area um, but yeah sort of released around uh, 1996 with the AIT one uh, my driver is the um, supports the turbo tape so natively up to 80 uh, gigabytes here and um, released for about um, seven thousand dollars Australian in 2022 or 4800 US dollars in 2022 uh, so here's the tapes here, they're very very similar to the um, Sony 8mm um, camcorder format. Of course I've got some more um, advanced technology there with the um, gold pads sort of at the front. But I've got a stack of them, but I don't have a drive to actually use them with. Uh, the ones on the left are the good tapes and the ones on the right are actually faulty tapes. These of course are quite old now. But I also did uh, manage to score the uh, cleaning tape with the batch as well, so that's very handy to have. Um, after a bit of searching, I managed to find one locally. That's the AIT E100 UL, compatible with AIT 2 tapes and Turbo 2 tapes. Uh, but anyway, this is definitely the one you want to get because it's got the support for the AIT uh, 2 Turbo tape, so you get a native support of 80 gigabytes. It's quite nice. Um, OS compatibility, you really want to run this on 2000 or XP, it does say uh, 98 on the box there, but um, I don't think uh, the software works that well with 98. Um, cracking the box open, you can see what's inside here, we get a bunch of sort of accessories included in there, and the drive of course. Um, this one is very lightly used, most of the cables were already uh, wrapped up until I got into them in uh, plastic bags. Uh, so you get a standard kettle lead of course, a USB 2 uh, cable, uh, it's quite handy. And also two options for firewire, you get uh, the usual firewire cables, uh, there's two of them in there. And also um, discs including the software and the drivers of so the backup software. And yes, uh, link in the description on archive.org for that uh, software if anyone needs it. Well cracking into the box here, we've got the drive itself. It's all nicely packaged up in a piece of plastic and some foam to protect it. Um, it is pretty much the same mechanism as what you'd probably find in a handy cam, just with some uh, extra stuff of course. Um, the drive itself is sort of an, in an enclosure, Just um, it's an IDE drive inside, we'll crack the lid off, but uh, you got the ports at the back, the USB and the Firewire there. I'm not sure why it has two, maybe uh, the Firewire ports just for maybe a pass through or something. Uh, getting into it's pretty easy, there's just two screws on the bottom for the little dip switch uh, flap, and then you've got the two at the back. Sliding the uh, outer shell off is actually quite hard, it's very stuck together. And the metal lid just slides off the top, uh, revealing uh, what's inside, which is not a whole lot. It's a fan um, and self-contained uh, power supply for voltage, of course. It uses a standard Molex connector and IDE uh, interface. You can actually take this uh, drive out of the enclosure and fit it into a 3.5 inch uh, drive bay if you really wanted. But um, now that we've got all the bits, let's uh, give it a try. So I've got a laptop here and some discs. Um, installation of the drive itself is pretty easy. You need to put the driver disc in. Um, where it gets tricky is the OnePlus backup software. It either works flawlessly or it doesn't. And when it doesn't, I've yet to actually get it to work uh, on a machine fully. Uh, there's usually some sort of drive detection issue, but um, the software itself is pretty easy to install, this is normally what you'll see. If you don't see any devices there, you're already uh, cooked. Um, for some reason it took uh, two different laptops to test this with. I wanted to test pushing and pulling data from to and from a tape between devices. Um, so yeah, here's the one safe backup software. It's already, and um, the company's already, you know, defunct basically, but as I said, I've archived the software if anyone needs it. Um, it's pretty rudimentary, you've got schedules and catalogs and things that you normally would have for tapes and all sorts of other backup media. It also creates a sort of vault that you can store stuff in and it maps the uh, tape drive to a uh, drive letter there. 
So we'll load up a tape, um, we'll erase it and have a look at um, how to transfer some files. Well, right clicking on the uh, some of the menus, you get options to erase the tape, retention it and things like that. Uh, you can see here, here's the properties of my test tape. I had very, very few of these that actually work. Um, the tapes themselves are really old now, you know, they're two decades old at least at this point. Um, so just like any magnetic media, uh, they get degraded over time. So uh, we're going to try copying a game over. I've just got Doom here um, and I've got a timestamp, which you'll see soon, of how long it took to write the drive. Um, sorry, the files to the drive and then um, from the other laptop to pull them back. The source writing machine, unfortunately, is only USB 1, but I don't think that matters given the uh, throughput of the device. Uh, so you can see here just how long uh, that's going to take, which is sped up to 400%, uh, if that gives you any idea. Well, just shy of uh, 1 minute 10 seconds there to write the files to the uh, drive, or the tape I should say. And um, we've got my other laptop here which I'm just going to use to uh, copy them from the tape. It's like a USB drive almost with that um, OnePlus uh, software on there. It makes it very easy to push and pull uh, files to transfer. Although I'm not sure linear tapes like this if that's... Uh, really advisable I'd say you probably have a better experience with a zip disk by the feel of it and just how it works uh, but regardless of that and the slowness of tapes we've got another speed test here of just pulling it from a tape this is on a USB 2 uh, compatible machine um, so we can see we'll just let this run through Alright, not much shaved off there, it was about 57 seconds to pull the tape off, uh, data off the tape there. Um, but yeah, everything seems to be intact until I can actually open up the game, which is quite nice. Um, but yeah, just a bit of a gimmick for me anyway, just to try out some of these old tapes. Um, they're really hard to find actually these days. Um, LTO tapes and DAT tapes seem to be a bit more common, but hey, it's uh, pretty nifty. Uh, other than that, um, just a quick look at an AIT storage device, I haven't seen many of these before, and um, if you used one of these, let me know, um, otherwise, thanks for watching, and catch you guys in the next one.